today I'm going to be reviewing this the BioLite 750 head torch. This is the new BioLite Headlamp 750, a super bright rechargeable head torch with a two to seven hour, we'll, we'll come back to that, to 150 hour runtime and an eight hour emergency reserve. It has a standard high brightness of 500 lumens, which is what is blinding you at the minute, which is over twice that of this. This is their Headlamp 200, which is the headlamp I've been using most for my uh, sort of camping and hiking recently. But not only that, not only do you have that 500, push this button on the back here and boom. It's hard to tell there, but you see that difference? You can get a 750 lumen burst mode for 30 seconds. In terms of the lighting modes, it's got a spotlight, a floodlight, a combined spot and flood, a white strobe. Oh, nearly forgot, there's a red spot in the front as well. A rear red light on the battery pack so you don't get run over at night and a rear strobe and the spot and flood modes are all dimmable. And it's all built around this, what they're calling the 3D slim fit construction. You've got this really soft band here with the light on the front, see how low profile it is? You've got nothing sticking out the front. That just goes on your head, it's one band, there's nothing over the top. And that sits just really comfortably on your head. Even for me, it works with the glasses. To take that weight off the front of your head, the power bank is on the back. And if you manage to get through the 3000 milliamp hours battery pack, I think I had it on upside down there, this flap, open that, plug in a cable, and you can then connect this up to an external battery pack to pretty much run all night. In terms of weight, this weighs 150 grams. Now, just in case you're wondering, is that a lot of weight? Well, compare it to this. This is my previous brightest headlamp, and this is only, um, I think, about 360 lumens. This weighs over 200 grams, and it's not far off being only half as bright. 50 grams of a difference doesn't sound like a lot, but it makes a big difference when you're out and about, especially when you consider the difference in weight distribution. Look how much that sticks out the front, and then look at the, the size of the battery packs as well in terms of design. This has got three double A's in it, so it's heavier, and that way it's concentrated over a smaller area on the back of your head than this. It also is rated to IPX4, which means it should be perfectly fine out in the rain, and I checked, and apparently you should still be able to use the Run Forever part even out in the rain as well, because the connection on the back is right at the bottom, so it should be shielded from most water being able to get into it, as long as you keep the battery pack out of the rain as well. Oh, forgot to mention, it does tilt down, so you just do that, and you can change the angle all the way down to there. Really nice idea, there's like a, you can see there, there's a heat sink to keep the LED nice and cool. Just, again, just a really, really nice design. Here's something I bet you do not know about most headlamps, and it's that most headlamps run on this thing called regulated brightness. That what that means is as the battery decreases, the actual brightness decreases as well in order to maximize the battery life. So in actual fact, when you buy, I don't know, like when you buy a 500 lumen head torch, most of the time it's only gonna be 500 lumens for, it could be as little as a minute or even a few minutes, and then it just starts to drop down that curve. At that industry standard, I'm like really surprised when I found that out. Now, now the Headlamp 750 does have that by standard, but if you press and hold one of these buttons on the back, it activates constant mode, which means it'll keep that brightness constant no matter what the battery level, and then once the battery gets to a certain level, it will drop down then to a lower brightness. Now that will reduce the full brightness running time from seven hours down to two if you have it at maximum brightness. If you've got it at a medium brightness, it'll reduce it from 8.5 hours down to four, but it does mean that if you want it, you can guarantee that level of brightness. And honestly, mostly for me, most of the time when I'm using one of these head torches, I rarely use it at full brightness. And I'm probably, if in camping, I'll only really use it for maybe two, three hours, depends on the time of year. So if I have this at medium brightness, you know, four and a half hours constant, is more than enough, so really nice feature, and it has opened my eyes to how sort of specifications aren't always what they seem to be. There you go, and that's the Headlamp 750. 
Okay, I need to do a little bit more than that. Let's do some real world tests to see what this actually performs like in a real situation. So I'm gonna compare it to the Headlamp 200 because 200 lumens is probably around the brightness of headlamps that most people might have lying around the house. And I'll also show you how the different modes compare. And I'm gonna go and do it in a cave. We are on our way to a cave. Sorry, the trip there. I don't. Okay, so starting off, here is the Headlamp 200. Now keep an eye on how much detail you can see as I look around, look at how bright the cave wall gets when I point the head torch at it, look at the overall ambience within the cave. And then here's the Headlamp 750 with the spot as well. Big difference, look how much more it lights up that entrance. And then look at how much more detail you're getting on, on the rocks and the inside of the cave as I look, I look around. It's also a nicer color of light, it's warmer. I think it just looks more pleasant in general. Huge difference. Okay, that's a comparison. Now, here's me cycling through just a few of the different modes on the Headlamp 750. Switched on the rear red light here, just so you can see how visible that is for distance, what it looks like when I'm looking around. Dimming the light down now, so you can see now it is at its minimum brightness. Obviously much dimmer, but actually usable once your eyes get used to it. Uh, then this is it on the floodlight mode. It's a wide light, not as bright again, but again works really well for close up work of a few meters. And I will have this from a first person perspective in just a second. Then here we have the combined spot and flood, which is that nice wide light combined with a bright spot in the middle, which gives me visibility into that inner chamber. Perhaps useful for a situation where you need to be aware of your immediate surroundings, but you're also trying to keep an eye on what's coming up ahead. And lastly, here's the red light. It is very dim, but when your eyes get used to it, it is actually bright enough to work with. And then here we've got some first person perspectives. There's the spotlight and what you can see with that. If we then switch to the floodlight, which is this, so you can see at a distance, it's really not that great, but if I just turn around here for close up, wait till that focuses, it's, you know, it's perfectly sufficient for close up work. And there's my, there's my feet, I can see them clearly. So this is the red light on, you can't even close up, it's very hard to see, but there's my hand in front of it. So what I'm gonna do is sort of what I can see with my eyes. So once you get adjusted to that, it's definitely bright enough uh, to see with and navigate with the dark if you really needed to. And there you have it, some tests of the Headlamp 750. So quickly then, in summary, my five favorite features of this, comfort and fit. This is so, so comfortable. And compared to this, there's just such a big difference because the, the, the lens sticks out in the front, the, the light sticks out in the front of this, which causes a bit of a bounce if you're running with it. And then the battery pack is, it's, the battery pack is just a lot of weight on the back of your head. And the way it fits, with this strap over the top, it always slides to one side or it's awkward. And if you're trying to use it with a hat, it's really, this is a revelation in terms of comfort. Love the comfort of this. And gen genuinely, it is, and genuinely why it is much heavier than the BioLite 200, I do think I could run with this on. I mean, there's me. Whacking, dude, there's me nodding my head up. Ow, that hurts <laughs> my brain. Oh, I mean, the only thing that was bouncing there were my glasses. The head torch wasn't moving at all. And number two, I love how bright this thing goes. It's gonna be an absolute weapon when it comes to me trying to slow down traffic that are coming towards me when I'm out running. I love the constant power mode. It was a revelation to me to find out that the lumen stats you get aren't actually real. Um, and it's just really nice to have that guarantee there of a certain level of light if I'm like needing to work on something for a number of hours and I don't want things to get gradually dimmer as I go. Uh, number four, I love the fact it's got the run forever power in the back there that I can just plug in a battery pack, wire that into something in my backpack. I was out for a hike um, a number of weeks ago where we hiked, um, where we hiked 17 miles and overnight. So there's a period of about six hours maybe where we were in complete darkness. If I was doing something like that again, or if I did it in the winter, that, that could be like 12 hours of darkness. So it'd be amazing to know that I can just plug this into the battery pack in my backpack and just keep going all night. 
And then lastly, it's a small thing, but I really like the fact that they've included a red light on the back. Because one of the things I will use this for is I run the night on country roads. And this head torch I've used previously has got nothing on the back. The Headlamp 200 does have a reflective strip, so you are partly visible, but it's just really nice to know that I'm gonna have that light. I'll probably set the flash when I'm out and running so I can keep it nice and safe. So is there anything I don't like about this head torch? Well, it's not so much I don't like it, it's just something that's not as easy as uh, this this headlamp. And it's it's the buttons are, are smaller on this than they are, I just push this one large button, boom, it's on. And then this is much easier to brighten and dim, I just spin this wheel here. But I do get the point that, because uh, I've asked them about this in the past, and it is basically a compromise. You can have something that's super slim and fits really nicely on your head like this but you are gonna have slightly smaller controls. If you wanna have those bigger, it's gonna be out the front and probably on balance, this is better. So yeah, and there you have it. That is the BioLite 750, another really nice product. I just really like BioLite as a company. They've got a really nice ethos. They started out making products to help people and then the innovations from those products have kind of spun off to, to other things. So I just really like what they're doing, really like this product. Can't wait to use it on runs camping trips, hikes in the dark, and other adventures in the future. So that's pretty much it for the head torch. I like it.